had a customer come to us with a custom job to modify one of our existing equipment racks to adapt it to a helo operation. So what we did is we took one of our standard issue 53 inch racks that's typically installed on a P3 aircraft utilizing a 20G cone configuration for inertial loads. What we did is we went and took the initial design for a 53 inch rack and scaled the new loading spectrum that we got for the helo. And what was one of our unique challenges that we had to overcome was on the P3 we typically use a equipment rack base plate to attach the rack to the aircraft, which is not available on the helo. So what we had to do was re-engineer a custom attachment method using these D-ring attachments here on the top of the rack. So in this design, that's typically designed for 20 Gs at 53 inches, um, what we did is we tried to keep with the same structural integrity of the vertical and horizontal members. We utilized the same shelving system that would be utilized for the 20G configuration uh, for this specific application. And by scaling everything down, we were able to really draw on a lot of the engineering work that had already been done. So because we're a model-based enterprise and a lot of our customers' equipment sometimes comes as a 3D CAD format, what we can do is preload the rack in a CAD environment to determine any types of interference issues and to ensure that we have enough attachment points to correlate the structural integrity. Now because we utilize this MX channel design in our racks, our storing capabilities are very versatile. We can accommodate various different types of shelving or bracket mounts and we're able to utilize our custom in-house center of gravity measurement equipment to determine the CG of everything and really place it in the rack to utilize the space as best as possible. So for longevity in this particular product, uh, typically what we would do on an aluminum structure is provide an iridite finish to cut down on any type of corrosion. In this particular application, on top of that, we also did a powder coat finish to all the structural members to give that added bit of not only an aesthetic appeal, but also functional as well. From the time we were approached by the customer to the time we had the engineering analysis done was just a little over a week, and the total fabrication time was about a week as well. So the quick turnaround, which is not common in our industry, was something that we wanted to do to get this customer their product as quickly as possible.